Welcome to A Priori Story Timeless. We'll be reading from uh, Anthony Christie's uh, volume, Chinese Mythology. And uh, we've got uh, little Slothy and Paco here with us today to enjoy the story time. And this is a short one called The Discovery of Salt. <clears throat> one day, a poor peasant working in fields by the seashore saw a phoenix perched on a mound on the edge of the sea. As he knew that there was always treasure buried where a phoenix perched, as soon as the bird flew away, he began, he began to dig on the spot. He found nothing but some curious earth and concluded that it must be of value. He took it home with him, hoping to make his fortune with it. But then he reflected that to fail to report finding treasure to the emperor was to incur the death penalty. Obviously, he could not risk marketing his find. He decided, therefore, to report his discovery at court. He duly presented himself before the emperor and told of the circumstances which led to his appearing with the rather unpleasantly smelling clod of earth. The emperor was not pleased and, accusing the wretched man of wasting his imperial time, ordered his immediate execution. <coughs> The piece of earth was forgotten on a shelf. But it was the wet season, and one day, as the cook was passing by with a dish for the emperor's meal, a drop from the moist clod fell into the food. There was no time to prepare another dish, so the cook placed the contaminated one before his master. The latter, at the first taste, recognized that the food was incomparably finer than any he had tasted before and demanded an explanation from the cook. He, not daring to dissemble, had to admit that there had been an accident between kitchen and table. The emperor, wondering whether after all the peasant's discovery was of value, sampled the juice that ran from the clod of earth on his food. There was no doubt. The flavors were immeasurably enhanced. Then orders were given for the mound to be exploited and it was found that the earth could be moistened and then dried to produce white flavor enhancing crystals. Nothing could be done for the peasant, but his son was appointed to a high post and grew rich. Hope you like that one Paco and Slothy.